ba 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 Welcome to another Buffet Buster video. I'm still with my good friend Brandon, and we're filming in Mississippi. This whole trip to Mississippi, I'm tweaking my videos and changing them up a little bit, showing you more behind the scenes than I typically put out in a video. And I'm combining this particular video with a much requested mukbang style video. So this video I'm gonna eat in real time, no fast forwarding. You'll be able to see Brandon and I enjoy 22 plates of food, and have a casual conversation and show you glimpses of what it goes on behind the scenes when I film one of these videos. The Tory Station, welcome to another Buffet Buster video. Very special one coming here in Mississippi. I've never been in this place before. It is the Grand Buffet. I only know this place because Brandon recorded here before and it looks so good. I insisted we had to make time on my trip to come here and try it out. And here we are. We got 22 plates to start with. We're not gonna weigh anything up. I didn't even bring a scale. We're just gonna have some fun, talk a little bit, and see what this food's all about down here, the Southern Cook. So make sure you check out Brandon's channel. Uh, I'll link him in the description below. And check out the Hey Ashi channel. She is the official camera person for this video. She does Randy Santel's as well. She does Randy's as well. Yes. She's probably one of the most well-known camera people behind the scenes the behind the scenes people <laughs> in the, the eating business okay, are you ready, ready to eat i'm ready okay before i get started here this is primarily my food here and it is a friday during lent season so i'm kind of limited when i'm allowed to eat at the buffet but as you can see that i still have a ton of options that i can eat on fridays so let's dig in i'm gonna start with i don't know i'm gonna start with a slice of pizza yeah. And I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to say anti lent That means I'm real bad. Like, I just, I, I don't, I'm just, you don't, not, you I'm different. Sell it. it's, it's okay. There's no okay, but now I'm just, I'm just showing you stuff that I feel bad now. Well, people, I should have got what you got. No, no. People are going to say, well, why don't you try any of the frog legs or why don't you try this? And I'm like, well, well, frog legs are like fish, right? They taste like fish, you say? No. They're, they're, yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't I like think they that. count as fish. They don't oh. count as fish? Right They're away, not fish. As you can tell, I'm a new Catholic. Right away, I go for the pepperoni pizza, which is an issue. I totally forgot wow, about it. Wow, let me eat it? Oh, you take it off. Okay. I'm just going to eat around that. Okay. Well, that, so that's mixed you messages. All, all the people that just probably freaked out when I said I ordered that food. That's something I never do not eat the food again, but today I'm going to not eat that pepperoni. Yeah. Well, I wanted to ask, um, I know we're going to try to eat some food, but uh, uh, getting started, like how did you get started in the, in this this field? Like professional eating. Professional eating? Well, I got started with seeing these guys on TV do it. And I thought, as most guys do, like I could do that. If somebody else does it, I can do it. And give it a try. It turns out it's, it's probably harder than it looks. But... I enjoyed it, so I kept at it. I saw Randy Santel at a video on TV. He was on the news in St. Louis. It looked like he was at a Denny's, but it was breakfast uh, and the news was there, and, the guy, and he was eating. I was like, this guy's eating. Like, I could do that. Like, why is the news there? That's mm -hmm. I didn't know. I like, I could do that. What's, I mean, that's okay. not much. I mean, it was still a nice portion, but I eat right. a lot anyway. Yeah, but that's how I got into it. I was like, I can do that. But uh, that's just how I got started. Uh, construction side of it when I was in construction uh, so they actually signed me up for a contest and that, you know, once I got the contest I won I just kept on going, going I just never knew I was going to just do it for a living though. Mm -hmm. Interesting you know, some of the challenges are you know that Randy's done the obviously are kind of like smaller and there's still a lot of food but when you, when you see that entry double challenge I think it gets a lot of people into trying it out yeah but I think they have a shot yeah, I mean, but, and I'm glad I didn't fail the first the, the challenge because I would have just stopped, like, oh, I'm no good, I'm not going to do it. But I saw the food, I'm like, I'm just normal, used to eating a lot. Mm -hmm. When I go to buffets, usually everybody's waiting around for me to, to stop eating. So I just had some fried cheese, which, which was good. The pizza was actually pretty good. It was nice and soft. It wasn't over, overcooked. Get some fried shrimp. I always get the garlic, the garlic green beans here, and the fried mushrooms. It's freaking amazing. Well, 
I've done about three videos here, I think. Yeah. My trim's good. Yeah, okay. Super is good. Yeah. They, uh, they have good food here. This is my top choice of going to any buffet around here. There's one in Memphis that I like, uh, but this one's like, it's not too far from the house. It's cheap too. It's not expensive at all. It's like, I think, I think um, all you can eat here for dinner might be $12. Wow. Not, yeah. That's a good deal. Sorry for me to give it a shout out. I, I got it. You mentioned Randy. I have to mention Mrs. Beard Eats. Uh, bread. This is for her. Is there a song? Song. It's by, I like to say it's by her lesser known um, significant other. I think his name is. Guy with the beard? Yeah, beard. Beard something. Beard something. Beard. Beard eats food. Beard. Beard burger challenge. Mm -hmm. Beard versus food? Or beard versus food? Something like I that. Know, I know her name. Of course, everyone knows it's Mrs. Beard. Beard eats. Who says mate to a Mate. Mm. I think it's from I thought it was from Australia. Well, they say it too. I get confused. Well, I'm gonna keep going with that fried shrimp. Man, clear a little bit of space. These are good. I, I'm sorry. The fried ones? They're not they're not I think they're in the fish category. You think so? You think they're well they do go in the water. They started off as a fish too. Like a tadpole. No. Hey, there's like, pretty big bones in there, those legs. Yeah, there's a nice size. That's like a chicken leg bone. Oh, really? You know the two, the flat? Oh, they, those two, those two over there. You know, I, saw, I saw chicken right there, and I was yeah. just editing my chicken wing video. Yeah. I went right to get something, yeah. and I was like, oh, it's funny. Bye. People want to see me do this every time of day. They, they like, everywhere I go, they want to see me eat a lot of food. I think there's no way to keep doing that and still be on this side no. of there. Uh, I started out doing a lot of uh, challenges, and then I started, uh, I moved on. I'm, to vlogs and, and other and like speed challenges but I'm trying to get out of the competitive eating world but wearing a ring like this it's hard to do when people just come up to you come up to you a lot so hey you're the Memphis Wing Champ. Well, the Memphis Wing Bowl I heard it was is actually one of the the harder ones to win I heard. It is hard. Very hard to win. It rains every year so it's hard to get in it. That's the first step. I call it Muddy in May I think. Mm. Then people think it's in May, but it's actually April 13th last year. It's supposed to be, but it was April 14th because it got rained out. So people thought it was May. So, yeah, that's really tricky. Yeah, you, so you got your ring on today, don't you? There you go. You do? Yeah. You don't. You don't even. Not as big as the Memphis ring. Right the weight on it. I got sometimes I got to change hands with the left hand to lift up the food. These fried shrimp are good. And not just because I can't eat stuff from the land. They're, they're good. I would try everything else, but these are the best ones I've ever had. Maybe I'll come back tomorrow. Just get one. <laughs> wow. I'm really supporting this experience today. I think you got other garlic bread over there too. I thought you stayed with this is good. He stayed with me in, um, over here um, in Hernando, where we stay in Mississippi, and uh, I passed by his room and I heard this song, and it was like this guy with the beard, and he was watching this video. So I started watching it too, so I'm, I'm subscribed. I, I watch it a lot of times right before I go to bed. But you just wait. The song. I mean, say the song. No, no, it puts me in a, a peaceful mood. It's a romantic story about a love interest and food, so it puts me in a good mood. Huh? <clears throat> you bring your coldest water thing? No coldest water today. No? 
The way that you bring had, a line? Had I known the water issues we were going to have down here, I would have probably brought it. All kind of issues. Outside of my realm, too. That's two. I'm thinking some of these plates I can get through quicker to have a little bit of room to work from. I didn't get chopsticks. Uh-oh. Alright. You wanna go? I know you. You don't have to get chopsticks for me. I know you. No, no. You don't want them. They're just joking. I'll be fine. No, I, I really wouldn't get no, chopsticks you know. because people will freak out again. Well, give me some too then. I have to now. Thank peer, you. Peer pressure. Alright. It's gonna be a long video. Luckily, yeah, luckily Tasha's... What? Because you use chopsticks? Mm -hmm. I might use the chopsticks for all of it. I'm gonna try not to brag on the stuff. Like red one week. There you go. Yeah. I thought you saved some for last. You know, like a little bit, <laughs> like a bite for the last. Mm. The cheesy garlic bread I prefer over this. Um, this one is still with them. Well, I, I hope they didn't watch slow mo, rewind that, and slow mo that uh, chicken wing. Well, Thank you so much. That chicken wing process. And then come to Memphis. Oh, yeah, they just saw me eat my chicken wings. So how's it compared to Pennsylvania um, Chinese food? Uh, this is really good so far. I've enjoyed, enjoyed everything I have. Do you guys got southern food on here, like uh, the yams and greens and stuff? Because I've noticed no. here they have southern food with the Chinese. Uh, we don't have that uh, in any of the buffets I've been to. No Swiss sauce. There's another one that has even more southern foods. Mm. Low sodium? Yes, I like that. I like the color of that top. Wow. I have to get more of these. This is something spicy. I don't know what the spicy. Oh, good. I'm not sure which, but there's real spice in here. Yeah. And usually they just say that, but it's actually spicy. They wouldn't do that, would they? No, like, on food. And the jalapeno covers. Right, double up on this one. I always get this pickled ginger. I eat it like a salad. You're supposed to cleanse your palate for the next. What you're supposed to do. I just eat it like a salad. I guess you get some extra. It's like extra fun. Yeah, at all at one time. I never had oh sushi that shaped like a root meat tea sandwich. So what else on your channel? Um, I know you guys know that you watch it, but what else on your channel? I, I know half of you watch this channel too. But what else you do other than just big massive food consumption? I like to uh, review different restaurants. It's always fun to eat somewhere new, especially if this is so far away from home. Like you mentioned already, the southern stuff. There's options we, we just never get. And even the stuff that they have is always cooked a little bit different. Oh, could you do that? Yeah, that's it's right on 15. Boy, Tasha's even better than I am. Thank you, Tasha. Yeah, Randy always looks for her before he looks for me to do the challenge. But sure she's there. Okay. Well, they cook a little different from your area sometimes, too? Mm-hmm. It's always doing that, but... I really love food reviews, especially container chip reviews. Not, I love trying new stuff, but not just any product that comes out, because it seems like since this pandemic hit, like, there's just a lot of products coming out that seem to be on the shelf for like a couple weeks, and then it doesn't, it doesn't seem like they were tested. They just put them out in the market. Well, Valentine's Day is over, so they do Easter. Mm. Are you saying just regular stuff? It like, just doesn't just do like so a, hot? First, I don't eat cereals. Oh, yeah. Like a lot of cereals come out and they're gone instantly. I think because it's limited time only, so it makes people go by them. They have to hurry up and get them. 
And then people tell them that it's hard as a rock. Don't, don't do challenges like this and then just take them off. <laughs> yeah. You're probably right. Might as well finish off my sushi. So that's where I'm heading. I see that on your channel you're doing a lot more vlogs. A lot of vlogs a lot of, and a lot of uh, uh, food reviews. So, I mean, it's just something. I mean, I like to try a lot of new foods and not just one food, 10 pounds of it. It gets away. Right. That, it's fun at first. You go, like, wow, I ate 10 pounds of that. Yeah, but then the first two or three pounds is delicious. Yeah. Then your brain's like, go ahead and get this over with. Mm -hmm. If I had a challenge like this all the time with different foods, I would like that. This is so much easier and definitely 10 times more fun having all kinds of different foods. This is the mind thing too, you know, when you're eating food, people's like, what are you thinking about when you're staring aimlessly into the abyss? Like I'm thinking about if they water that plant over there. Like I think about stuff like that. I don't think about food, that what I'm doing, I think about anything else. Some stuff I can't even talk about, especially on camera. So, 106. I'm, oh, you're not supposed to point the chopsticks at anybody. I, but you're pretty experienced with those chopsticks. Yep. You've been noticing. I've been trying to be. I don't know. Humble about it. <laughs> yeah. I use the stab technique. It works. So I know you guys have the new house. Put out a video of doing a vlog in your she shed. Yeah. But you're gonna do more of those? Because that was interesting well, to watch. Well, I would. Watch we didn't have snow. Well, not, not today, I just oh. mean in general. Is that where you see the channel going? Definitely. Vlogs, because you, um, excuse me, excuse me. You get tired of people running up to you because you just see you're a Memphis Wing channel. So you're like, hey, and first of all, I need to take the ring off. But I do got a shiny smile, so I, I started doing vlogs. And, and people want to see what the heck I'm doing. You know, some people don't, but a lot of people do. Um, I just do everyday life stuff and put a camera there. And people think we're not famous, we're just people that put food in their face and a camera at the mm -hmm. same time. People do it every day, they just don't get video. Right. You know, We had a store yesterday, and, and, and two people, a couple came up, and um, they was talking about are we vloggers. And we first we didn't know how they figured it out, but we both had cameras in their in their hand. And um, but we told them to help get out there, do it, you know, see if you like to do it. You don't know unless you try it. So that's you know, that's where we're at now because we put the video up, and I had video sideways, and like I videotaped one thing. And I actually messed it up, and it was sideways. I didn't know. I didn't know how to just turn the footage. So right. I turned. I, I downloaded to my computer. I turned my computer sideways. Videotaped it with my phone. Put it back on my computer. I think it's called Larry's on the Lake. It might still be on there. I kept it on there just to show you. When somebody says, "Hey, you got bad video," I said, "Whoa, go check out how I used." Here's to the be. link to the thing. yeah. Like how far I come. This is. Uh, I guess it's. Cool. It's called crab, but it's always imitation, some sort of fish. And uh, mac and cheese. So yeah, when I look back at my original videos to my videos now, it sure makes it seem like I've come a long way. Not that I don't have a long journey still to go, but it seems like you, you, know, you can always improve on something. Look how far you came, and you still got far away to go. But as long as you're not where you used to be, and, and, and progress, they said, "Don't you don't have to be perfect." Uh, it's all about progression, not perfection. Mm -hmm. So I like to stick to that. And then show them that one video. Well, for me, I can never expand it to its full, take up the whole screen. I always had the black bars on the side. Oh, really? Was it three, four, or whatever, four, three? I don't know what I was doing wrong. I don't know how I fixed it, but now obviously not. And, and Mrs. Beard's uh, significant other kept riding me saying, you know, just make it full screen. I was like, if I could, I would. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Did you ask me if you knew what I was doing? 
I think your, his was full screen last night when you were watching it. Yeah, his was full screen. Um, I was using some free editing software that I don't think everybody else used. Uh, well, I think one, one reason why people don't know about the beer guys, he don't even have a magnet on the Hummer. He has a Hummer, I think. A Hummer? And, yeah, I think one of the big trucks. He doesn't even have magnets on it. He just start out. He doesn't know. You don't know until you know. Mm -hmm. You know when we're driving down the road. They pull off the truck. I think you think they're looking at you. Like how, how do they know I'm in his this car? But then you all he has magnets. Yeah. Well, that's what I like to think. It's, it's not as thick as we have it in Pennsylvania. It's a little bit, we have it thicker. This is a little bit more, not, it's not water now, but a little bit, not as sticky. We, ours is more sticky. Like, more creamy, like mm -hmm. condensed. I'm going to tell you now, that's way more condensed than what it probably is. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of buffets of mac and cheese um, from where I'm at in here, it's just running here. Okay. And I'm not a fan of that. More like a macaroni salad. You didn't get any crawfish though. I did not get any crawfish. We have some stuff to do. It would take me forever to eat three crawfish. Yeah. It's quicker to eat 15 plates of food than for me to eat three crawfish. I only got two. So the other one didn't fill home. That's the only reason why I got two. I think this was a male because it's darker red, like Cardinal Bird. Cardinal Bird, the darker bird, is red. I always, my whole life, thought the female was to attract the males because they're dark. So I've had it wrong my whole life. So the darker Cardinal Birds are the female, are the males. What do you call them? Interesting. I'm going to watch you to see what you do with this thing. Well, I'm not the pro, but this one actually came out pretty good. I mean, you, you twist it and you take the two. Tasha told me how to do this. Hey, Ashi, you know the, the camera person? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, um, you take the two, like uh, these right here, take those two off. I think you twist this first, and then you take the two, like rib type things off here, and then you know. Oh, wow. I'll come chop. Actually, I do those way better than I more you know. probably would, but I probably would have done better if I used chopsticks. I forgot all about it. <laughs> Here we go. I'm not sure that's what they intended when they're talking about chopsticks. I wonder, I have a, a burger like another pepperoni pizza that we're at the doctor up and fries and I don't know if it's a dessert or I don't think it's dessert. Yeah. I don't think I don't think they cross contaminate desserts with regular. Okay. It did that's why at first I, I didn't think it was, but then it kinda looked like it. Yep, we gotta put this to the side. And these right here, prawns. Head minutes. It's always shrimp. Prawns or shrimp. I call them all shrimp, but they call them prawns. For sure. Yeah, I'd say shrimp. But this has a shell on it. It's just too much to get off. Usually, just eat that too. It's fine. It's like disintegrate. So, it's it just too much work. Take the little head off. Like that. I won. We'll see that good. You'll be surprised. Okay. I'm probably going to ditch the chopsticks because it's just too fast. Too fast. Can't run as many hats to get chopsticks. Yeah. What's your favorite so far?
a little bit. I think I ate, yeah. Um, I guess the fried shrimp. Just trying to think of everything because I've eaten a lot of different stuff here. What it, wasn't the plate with the You like that spicy sushi thing? Oh, I knew that was by far. Yeah. By far. I listen to it. The, uh, the, one, the one that was, uh, had the rice on the outside, that spicy one. I had two different spicy ones, and that was good. I, hopefully, they have more of that. Oh, you know, that, that was a volcano roll. I think it was a volcano roll. That was called? And that's when the last time I did sushi, their volcano was my favorite, too. Mm. How about you? What do you like? That's so cool. I don't want to rub it in. No problem, guys. They're delicious. Yeah. They were good. No, thank you. I agree. Oh, they know me here. They don't come to the table. You gotta like it. put water, man. Like, hey, okay. they already know I'm good. <laughs> like, I did three videos here. And they're real nice people. They don't pay me to say that. But they let me videotape, and I don't bother anybody. So, and they have good food, so it's a win right. I'm pretty sure this is apple. Is it? Is it? Is apple. It? I'm not sure what it's called. Apple dessert type thing. They integrated it in there mm -hmm. it's fried or something. Some fried rice and romaine noodles. Yeah, I like the romaine here. Mm. Noodles are probably dry, you know. They're not noodles though. Fried rice. This is a little bit, these is a little bit more texture on it. Like a little bit more juice here too. But I think they were about to replace that when I got it. Did you do the star stuff thing? Tasha is so helpful. Usually when I'm at home, I have to bang on the wall behind me. And somebody will eventually hear me and they think I fell or something. I can't get up. They'll come running and then I just say, yes, I'm turning the camera back. So I know everybody watches probably, if you, if you were with me this long, you know that this is not my typical video. I'm probably going to let this thing just run and just give everybody a mukbang to see what an actual, the speed I actually eat is. It's much slower now for both of us because we're talking. Yeah. Um, so I normally film at a much quicker pace, but this is just, like people say, oh, you get up and go to the bathroom or something, this is just us, this is how we actually do it. Change the pace, you know, on your channel. Mine and I just leave whole anyway. If you want to fast forward, then they, you know, that's what that's what the buttons there for. If they want to see you know, do that. But if you make it shorter, there's no way to make it faster unless it's awkward and you do slow motion. And it's just doesn't matter right. I do like that. How you can put it in a quarter speed. No, if you want to see something. The techniques of wing, wing bow, champ. Well, techniques, but you probably did Or like if someone's like panning down with the buffet and it goes too quick, you're like, what was that? Yeah. You know, to see if I want to go there. I slow that down because when you're up there with the camera, you don't know how to slow it. It, it looks really awkward. It already looks awkward because you got a camera up with the food, but when you go really slow like this, it's really awkward. I right, agree with especially the way this works. So I don't know. I'm going to put this in the video, but uh, they serve all the food here for you. So you have to go up there and ask. And everything's got plastic on it to prevent you from contaminating. So this is probably one of the most COVID conscious buffets I've been to since this pandemic started. Uh, most places aren't like this protected. This, they call this cafeteria style, I think. Cafeteria, when you come up, hey. Do that, you know, cafeteria stuff. I think that's what they call it. Well, we have, that's what I call it. I mean, we have these buffets where I'm at now, but they usually make you 
put gloves on, and of course you wear a mask. Uh, but you can't touch the utensils without a glove, and you're allowed to scoop yourself. Here you can't. can't well, it's allowed right down the street, like that. Okay, it's right there. But um, yeah, this place, a lot of the places are like this, though. And they might, you know, when this is all over, they might stick to it. You know? Right. Um, but they also, I don't notice they didn't take your temperature here. Some places in Pennsylvania, they'll take your temperature before they let you in. When they do that, though, they need to ask you. Because it's awkward to put something like a gun to your head. And, you know, it's open carry, too, so you don't know if you got a reaction. You know, like, hey, I'm like a puma. You gotta watch out. Yeah. But I know they know on my channel, but you guys, if you watch my channel, I add like a lot of goofy stuff in there sometimes. Um, I put bloopers in at the end. And what I was thinking about when you were saying you're banging on, on the door on the wall to get somebody to come do it, I would probably put that on the very end, like a blooper thing. I put at least, at least one in there just to, so people know what's going on. Because I suddenly been talking to somebody where I wasn't talking. I used to do that, but I used to drink a lot. <laughs> There's another plate. This is coconut shrimp and mashed, uh, mashed potatoes. But the reason I do this is I love that coconut shrimp sauce. If you can dip something else into it, so you put the potatoes in there. Oh, you got some coconut I'm trying too. to get, when you get to some of yours, I do, try to do mine. Oh, I don't do this too much because my arm is too short and it hurts. And, but I got a counterbalance, like the, you know, like the. I was going to say, when you currently do it left hand. You know, when you go to court, they have that line for justice. Okay. So that's what you do. When like squirrel on a little wire, the tail. I just put the pictures in I took before. Like, here you go. And, and hopefully that, that turns out pretty good. And that's why I like the pictures as well. Because you don't have to, because half, half the time it doesn't focus though, when you put it on camera. And you're like, why'd you do that for? But if you hold, yeah, or you're holding it for 15 seconds waiting for the focus. Yeah. And then you, and it's, yeah. I understand, or doing something like this is really rude. Like covering people's faces, so, so then people are like, why is he doing that? Or when other YouTubers that we got this here, Josh and Sean, that we know, friends of ours, they'll set the, put the up and then they'll look away from the camera, like like a dab, like the they dab. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a dab. <laughs> You're right. I didn't see that. Yeah, I always thought it was like the cops are calling. So next time they do it on your video, they put the dab in there. That's the dab. That's like the food dab. <laughs> Or he go the goat. He might Josh. He might go ahead and use it now. It's not copyrighted, so if you want to, Josh and Sean add a little dab to it. No. Mm. So both of them came to the pizza, right? Mm-hmm. They are. They a lot of pizza too. Those guys like going to buffets. If I go to a buffet, I film. I definitely film every single buffet. And they just went to a buffet. They just I don't know, huh? They just did it without filming. But see, I'm usually the only person here that eats a lot like that. But you bring an entourage of eaters, or they just come with you. And it's like, that's a lot of food for three people. I'm just wondering that I still eat a lot. And you got you and two other guys, like grazing on the pasture here, you know? So you talk. Right. That's what I'm. No, I'm sorry. That's what I'm talking about. You get, you get your. You use that cross. Oh, so that's good. You gonna put it on camera? Stuff. Probably. Mm. I was gonna have my face against show. <laughs> I just look stupider. I said her. <laughs> to be honest with you, usually I don't like coconut shrimp for the reason that you can never get it not totally soaked. Usually, I like it. I like it with a little bit on it, but I didn't mind today because I knew I was gonna use it. Actually, they actually gave me a small bowl. They usually fill this freaking thing all the way up. I said, don't do a lot. They, they fill it up. There's a tip jar up there. I don't think a lot of people get tips, but 
I give it to them before they give them my food because I know they're going to do it right. And, uh, a lot of people don't. So normally when I come to a place like this, I would never ever go to that grill. Just because it takes a while, I want to keep filming. So what do you do? You just point to everything you want? Say, I want this, 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 and this? Yeah. And they make it for you? Yeah. You put whatever you want in there. How about that? Yeah. They got two different kind of mushrooms. Uh, they have uh, onions, all kinds of stuff, bean sprouts, different kind of noodles. They got your anal hair, the lo mein, and they got some other kind of fat noodle. I don't know what that is. What kind of hair do they have? Angel hair. Oh, angel hair. Is, is it called angel hair? No. It's something like that. It's like the time. I'm pretty it's sure that wasn't the word you said first. Time. Are you sure? You have to rewind your video. She, she, no, she doesn't make me, but I rewind my video. I found that I'm wrong uh -huh. quite a bit, so I might be wrong. It's very often. <laughs> Sounds like another word to start with an A. What? <laughs> oh! It's shaped like an O2, too, ain't it? <laughs> well, I don't want to know. But um, I know what you're talking about now. Okay. All right. I wish we wasn't on the same page. <laughs> you plan on doing a website soon, maybe? Have you ever thought about it? I own a domain name, uh -huh. and I have it out there. Strangely, no one visits it. No, mainly because it's been parked at GoDaddy for five, six months now. Oh, and you never even said nothing like a P.O. box? Like, I never, know. well, I never did. There's no website. Like, it's just, I just own the domain name. Well, you got it. You just pay, like, $11 a year? Yeah. Hmm. But hopefully I am having a domain soon. I'll do the, all the shrimp last year. I have mine for about six months to nine months, just in case somebody didn't want to buy it and just sell it to me. Because I, they know I probably wanted it. There was, there was a competitive eater who bought another competitive eater's domain name. Yeah. And offered to sell it to a competitive eater. Which is very awkward, because both of them were in Major League Eating. Oh. So it wasn't like just a random, like a, like I would pick somebody from another country and go, oh, yeah, I'm gonna grab that. It's somebody he saw off. Somebody who just stands next to somebody else. Yeah. Wow. So I got, well. Oh, you know what? I wanted this egg roll. Probably as pork as this other one. Uh, this should be a spring roll. It's spring. It's just vegetables. But, but how about this? I don't know. About That's the that one. one. I think they had meat. The other one. Wow. But those are good. I'm trying to be good. It's hard. So much meat and everything. This stays really hot for a while, so you can save that kind of last because you can flip it up and hide under there. And usually I save my sushi for last because it's cold anyway, so if your food gets cold, that's already cold. So I kind of go backwards on that. Usually people eat it first. Usually I kind of save it for last, but you was eating yours, and I was so excited I had to try to dig into mine. They got some nice size, uh, my size shrimp here. Yeah, I would. I think you might want to pass I'm on that. Pretty sure that's pork. Meat. That's where it's frog legs. Well, here's here's where I'm taking a real risk. I would this fish I've never had before. It's catfish, right? I mean, it's I'm sure it's totally Can't acceptable, be. but the person in front of me, and you have to wait in line to ask for the food. It was a guy about my size, a good-looking guy in shape. You know, I'm running a lot, a lot of myself. Yeah. He said, I'll take three pieces of the fish. Yeah. So yeah, three pieces. Well, that's what he said before me. So oh. as a professional eater, I walk off there. I'm like, well, I got to ask for at least three pieces. Or more. Because I want to be embarrassed. And I said, I should ask for four. Right? So I asked for three. I sure hope I like this. It's good, though. I'm telling you now. I assume it's good, but, but I would normally not get three big pieces of fried food never had. Well, I only got one piece of fish, so he wasn't talking about me. I'm like shorter. Oh, it's good. No, we're, we look the same, just shorter. Right? It's not just fried, there's like seasoning. No, that's good. I'm glad I got three pieces. Tartar sauce? 
I didn't double dip. Is, is that what? I only used it once. I, like I, I, I scooped one time. I mean, I'm gonna stick with this until. Okay. I didn't double dip. No, I appreciate it. Okay. Is that maracuja tomato sauce or mayonnaise tomato sauce? I don't know. It might be mayonnaise, but I make mine with with sweet pickles, maracuja whip, and Worcestershire sauce. People don't know how to say that word. They say Worcestershire. They don't know how to say it. Like Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. Three times fast. And I bet you people just try to do that. So, <laughs> Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Worcestershire? Yep. It sounds like I've already been on the sauce. And there's like one or two people that are saying, I'm saying it wrong. So this is catfish. It's catfish filets. Filets. This is actually pretty good. This might be one of my favorite things. It's not as good as that sushi one. Because you didn't have the problem eggs, that's got to be your favorite problem. I'll work. Oh. Don't, don't go with anyone. You'll get everybody in the community mad at me because you tried a problem. Is that what you said that for a problem egg? Yeah. No, I was going to ask for a glass of ice water. Oh. I usually, I usually <laughs> just ask for water. But you want ice water? I want ice water towards the end. I like ice water. If, when you're doing a big eating like this, if you ever need something refreshing, if you switch the temperature of your water for like just room temperature ice water, what Brandon said, it's so good. It's like ice really cream. Helps. Ice cream after a challenge or something? Mm -hmm. People don't understand. That freaking, it's like soothes your esophagus, mm -hmm. I guess. But it's new. That's not a three inch stick. That's at least a four inch stick. I think it's a three. Really? I believe. Stacked up. You get a, a t shirt, apron, hoodie, or jacket. When you order one, you get a free one. And you can even have a sign if they go to my website, thegarbagedisposalstore.com. If you buy it, you'll sign it for how much? How much, sign how much extra? It's free. Free? Free. Wow. Yep, for now. For a limited time. Like cereal. It's, it's going to go. go. It's like the cereal. Yeah, yeah it's going to go. <laughs> I'm going to call this right now. You're going to edit this video. Tasha, can you do it one more time? Thank you. I'm going to edit this video, and you're like, you know what, it's a 10 minute video. And I think he's a Houdini. I don't see how he can make an hour long video 10 minutes. I make an hour long video an well, this, hour and a half. This will be really tough because there's so much different talking. Oh, around? Well, between you and I interacting and talking, it's hard to chop out. And it's just me. Oh. You know, I can chop it and fast forward down. Yeah. But this would be, there's no spot to fast forward. You know what I mean? Like, I can pause in between and then you can pick what you want me to say. You can. I mean, I, so unfortunately, this is sad. I, I'm, I'm really embarrassed. I'm going to put it over here. I, I'm going to okay. get to it. Brandon might help That's out. last. Okay. Not because he touched it, because I'm just going to eat my food first. Off to the seafood. Now, I asked for the shrimp right after somebody else, and I got a bunch of these mussels. Which I don't know if I'm a mussel fan or not, but we're gonna find out. Because I'm allowed to eat mussels today, so I, I gotta keep. Them. You gotta tell them you want one or the other. But you got the corn at the same time. They give you the whole well, thing. I did say, yeah, I said I want to throw some corn on there. I, I, I honestly, this is probably the first time I've ever had corn like this either. You never had, did you even taste these things? No, because, oh man. I, I raised three vegetarians, my wife's a vegetarian. She would never eat this stuff, ever. So we're not suddenly, like having that's this good. season in here, I would, you know, I'd never have it. So it's Cajun, that's like, that's a season. Right, that's, season. that's like talking about the stuff down south where I can't, I'm sure they make it, but this wouldn't be common on a buffet. You have to go to a specialty place. Wow, there's, there's a lot of that, I guess, Cajun that has seasoning. I always forget. I'm going to put pictures in, but I'm going to do like Bob. See, a lot, a lot of people say Brandon's not as cultured as other people, but look how well he works that chopstick. And I got two of them. They gave me two of them. I can play drums, too. I'm going to do it. That's probably disrespectful. More than what I'm doing now. 
I'm not trying to do this. Is there a special way you have to? Like a rule? Play drum or not? No, no, not drum. I'm talking about chopsticks. Like, is there a... I think you're supposed to use both in one hand. You have to. I think most people do. I mean, yeah. they use one in each hand. So the... There you go. Fancy side up. Yes. Uh huh. I did a rubber band on it. Rubber band helps to train, yeah. Train? Well, it helps, you know, practice to... You should do this? Mm -hmm. oh, I, did, I visited France and went to a restaurant, nobody spoke English, and I ended up getting a seafood salad and it, it had these in there and they were far away around them. I could not take it. Like, these taste good in the season. Kind of like that was my fault. So, I, this is muscles, right? So my muscle experience was the one time in France, then I was in an eating contest where I had to eat this by itself for a half hour. No other food, just this. And I ate hundreds and hundreds of them. But they were good because they were, they were seasoned. The ones I had in, in France were just kind of like, almost like boiled or cooked or something, and then just thrown on top of the salad. They ate healthier though, but like, that was a real problem. They usually don't bother with me because I get some shell. Have, have everything. So you want two glass, one glass of ice water? Yeah, that's good. You got a mess here. I got garlic bread too. I just can't sing good. <laughs> Can I just get two glasses of ice water? I see water. Two glasses of ice water. Thank you. Try the corn? You want anything? Did you want anything? Mmm. Oh, good. Okay. It's interesting. It's like a Cajun. Like. Yeah. Like, the only other corn I remember having seasoned is like, sometimes you get Mexican type corn that's seasoned. Well, and this street is, corn. Yeah, this is... Good corn, they use mayo. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, we're good. We're good. Thank you. They use mayo or you have mayo corn? I think they use mayo corn. I still eat it though. I don't fault them for it. It's probably cheaper and it lasts like a, out the refrigerator longer. I think that's what they do. Okay, here's my bowl here. For my fans. There you go. I might as well do you too. I don't want to. I don't want to let you guys go, but I'm going to put a picture up anyway. Because you probably you didn't see what the heck that was. Did you want to taste the crawfish after the food? Taste the what? Crawfish. Oh yeah, I'll have one. Yeah. You have to get it for me. But I, I, I will try it. I don't. I don't have to. Wow, I hit a heavy season on that. Thank one. you. Good. I think how small you can easily hold it. Yeah. But you can't do that uh, competitive eating when they do the, like this. You ever see that? Yeah, I know you saw it. You I go, go, I you go down. I you don't do that? I go up. You go up? I just do the typewriter. I know I'll probably, but I won't have, I'll have less on the ground though. You ever see that? Like they're feeding chickens. Why was it the contest? I won. One year. Yeah. I, I never saw you in a corny contest, but I saw some corny contests and it's like they feed chickens. Oh, like, I thought you were talking about the MLE one. More corn, yeah, more corn on the ground than it was. Oh, there's corn everywhere. It's, yeah. It's corn everywhere. I'm going to jinx my GoPro, but it's still working. Nice. Yeah. It usually shuts stuff up for 30 minutes. Sticker. He's wearing your sticker. Huh? He's got your sticker. Yeah, um, 
Tasha gave each of them a sticker. Very nice. I'll have to remember to try to eat that one of those shells. It's not bad at all. You eat the legs too? No. Oh um, yeah. I just pull the head off and then eat everything but the tail. But if you want to, I mean, you can eat the tail too if you like. I just don't eat the tail. I mean, who does that? <laughs> so basically what I'm gonna do on my channel is, is pretty much, I've been doing for about a year and a half or two year vlog. I've been less and less of a big quantity and just doing more vlogs and more bad acting. And uh, I'm gonna incorporate the cooking again and the gardening. Pretty much get out of this, to anything but maybe speed challenges. Oh, thank you. Just gonna try it. Oh, they're all good. There's some warmth. Yeah. Thank you. That food magically appeared from Tasha. It didn't just. They don't come around and just serve it randomly. That was Tasha. That's blinking. Oh. That's your battery? That's your battery. Okay. I'll have to do. Well, I'll have to deal with that. It, how long is that going to um, stay blinking? Uh, a couple minutes. I'll finish, oh. be able to finish the shrimp. Well, that shrimp, and did you want to eat one of those whole and then try to crawfish? And you think that'll be a good video? Because, oh, I mean, I'm going to eat this, but we can still talk off camera. But I know your camera's about to die, and I don't want to. Must wrap. These guys are used to, to watching my videos and not knowing what's, what's going to happen. It's like, surprise! I'll try. The head's gone or pull up the head. There you go. You just eat it. Pull up the legs. You eat if you legs. want some a little bit, if you want. I just do the whole thing. It's like crispy. It's just like crispy. And you don't even taste the shell hardly. It's just like, it's not even there. It's like, you know what I'm saying? No? You would rather fill it? Well, it's a lot better than like a regular cocktail shrimp, put that one in. I don't know why I'm a big it. fan of doing that one. You know how to do it. Twist it? So twist it? Twist, yes. Yeah, like a rotate twist? Like, or I'll show you. Like you Tutorial. Twist and pull that out. Twist and pull, yeah, so let's pull it out. Twist and pull. There you, you go. You can take that little piece. You can take yeah. that off. And then there's two, two, two shells. You take two of the yeah. shells off, two shells. To loosen it up. Right, and then come yeah, I can say at the very, take the last ring off. Yeah. But you just peel it up like this, like that very last ring. Okay. Squeeze at the base, put it in your mouth and pull. Yep. Oh, there you go. It's a lot of work still. It's the first time. That's a lot of work for that amount. <laughs> but it's, it's, I mean, you can probably get that crank almost as quick as you do with shrimp. So. Let's try some. Unless you eat the shell. I wouldn't eat that shell though. Is that cold? Is that the cold shrimp? Cold. What a fan of cold. I still try to put two scoops of big garlic in here, and I got half the portion, so that's actually four scoops on a regular. So that's real garlic. Actually, I think I like these shrimp the, the best. I don't know what we call these Cajun shrimp. What the cooks? The, the one was oh, Cajun, yes, and like Cajun spices. They really say, I like the, 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 the freaking corn is good with that spice on it. It's good. Well, guys, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down now on mine because his, I'm blaming his camera because it's blinking. But uh, if you're ever in this area, in South Haven, the top of Mississippi, come out to um, Graham Buffet. Um, really good, really good people here. Uh, really good food. Uh, so uh, I really appreciate you watching, uh, and I will talk to you later. Brandon and Tasha, thanks for bringing me here. I think Brandon made it look so good when uh, I watched all his video. Food is delicious. Some of this Cajun food is fantastic. I'm a big spice person, and they're big into the spices down here, so I'm enjoying myself so far. Make sure you check out their channels. I'll link them in the description below. Thanks for watching another video, and I'll see you guys again soon. Go post. Go post turn off. Oh.
Go pull stop recording. Can you hit the button there? Yeah, I'll, I'll keep recording. Oh, you stopped it. Oh, I was going to say, that didn't record nothing. I forgot I told her to stop it. The first one I did, it's just the, like the shell in the back is hard. Like still yeah, air. That was a hard appeal to me, dude. Yeah, that's I didn't realize it was just hard to peel. <laughs> Wouldn't it say I, that's why I eat another scoop? <laughs> yeah, that's why I just eat those. Those are kind of bad.